So let's look at cumulative frequency. Here is a grouped frequency table in the sense that we have groups of lengths. So if I had a length that was equal to 10 meters, it would go into this group here, okay? Because we have 10 to 20, and we have this equal sign, this inequality with the equal sign uh, directed at the 10. So you wouldn't put 10 meters into this group, you would put it into this one. Likewise, if you had a length of 55 meters, it would go into this final group. And if you had a length of 40 meters, it would go into this penultimate group, okay? So that's how this data has been collected. So there was lots of original raw data that was collected of different lengths, and then we have grouped it, okay? So we've put it into these groups. Now from this data, you might want to find things like um, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, the interquartile range, the median, those kind of things. And in order to do that, we first of all need to calculate the cumulative frequency. Now, you could have done this, uh, all of those things, with the raw data, but the raw data's gone, OK? We have taken the raw data, we've put it into groups, and we've actually lost that bit of information. So what we're going to do is we're going to have another column and we're going to call it the cumulative frequency. Okay, And what cumulative means is it's coming from the word accumulate. And so you are adding more things on and adding these things together as you go. So what we're doing is we're starting off with 10. And then we're adding on another 30. And so we would go from 10 up to 40. Then we'd add on another 50, and so we'd end up with 90. Then we'd add on 60, and we'd get to 150. Then we'd add on 30, we'd get to 180. And then we'd add on 20, and we'd arrive finally at 200. And so this is the cumulative frequency, how the frequency is accumulating. Now, with this data with these two columns, forget about that middle one now, with those two columns we now have some data that we could plot on a graph, a cumulative frequency graph. So we would have a vertical axis, the cumulative frequency, and we can see the cumulative frequency is going well all the way up to 200. So we'd start at zero, OK, and we go all the way up to 200. So if we put 100 there, OK, there's 50, there's 150, OK. And along the bottom, we can put length. Now, length is going up in tens, OK. We're starting at zero. We'll have 10, 20, 30, 40. 50 and 60, OK? And now we're ready to start plotting. So between 0 and 10, we have a cumulative frequency of 10. Now we put that at the end of the data column, OK? So we're going to plot it as 10, 10, 20, 40, 30, 90, etc. So we're going to start off with 10, 10. So 10, 10 would probably be around about there. Then we'd have 20, 40. So 40 probably be around there. 30, 90, 30 and then 90. 40, 150, so 40, 150 is up there. Then we have uh, 50, 180, so 50 and then 180, it's about there. And then finally we have 60 and 200, so 60 and then 200. And in the majority of cases, um, what you find is that you get a curve. It's kind of like a, an S curve. I'm just going on to 0, 0 there. OK, so to complete the curve, you don't really necessarily have to have that. And sometimes not a good idea to have it, just because it's a bit, a bit misleading. 
okay but as you can see you still have that kind of s curve for the shape now that is the cumulative frequency graphically and so from there you can then start to find and estimate your lower quartile upper quartile median etc okay so for the lower quartile median and upper quartile for the median we know that it's halfway okay and so we take the halfway point of 200 and so that would be 100 so at 100 we then go horizontally to the curve and then go straight down vertically downwards and we would read off that number and so this number is between 30 and 40 it's probably about 33 okay so I could say the median is approximately 33 this is an approximation okay because I lost that original data this is just going to be approximating the lower quartile well, will be at the first quarter of 200 which is 50 so from 50 horizontally along to your curve straight down okay and that's about 23 and then the upper quartile it would be at the 75 percent so three quarters 150 straight along and then down I've got about 40 okay and then from that, what you can then say is you could then draw yourself a box and whisker diagram, a box plot that goes with it. So there's your lower quartile, the upper quartile, because that x-axis acts as a natural axis for the box plot itself. And then at 60 for the final one. Okay, and there's your box plot and it matches up nicely with the cumulative frequency curve okay and that's how we can work with cumulative frequency to estimate the lower quartile median and upper quartile